What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm kind of excited to talk about the first person shooter that we all thought was long gone and that is World War 3. Before start anything I have to ask, do any of you guys remember this game at all? I personally haven't touched this game in a very long time but seems like the game is trying to make another comeback so today we're gonna talk all about it. Alright if you guys remember back in like 2018, World War 3 was kind of pitched as the battlefield alternative or the battlefield killer and at that time especially if the people around battlefield community didn't really like Battlefield 5 and looking for some sort of an alternative and at the initial reveal trailers for the World War 3 looks extremely promising offering a combined arm combat and a classic Battlefield style game modes with large scale maps and a lot of vehicles and destruction and at that time many people were hopeful that it would capture what they felt from missing from other military shooters but however when the game was launched into early access back in 2018 the game struggled there was a lot of performance issues bugs lack of content server problems which ultimately led to its player base dropping off significantly. I remember buying the game back in the day ended up being very disappointed because nobody was playing on the servers and I finally decided to refund the game and I think at one point the Plague player count was like less than 200 players and in fact the game was completely removed from the Steam store after a while back and we haven't really heard from the devs afterwards. But fast forward to 2022, World War 3 tried to make another comeback but this time with a free to play model and a lot of people was excited about the game. I was also covering the game back at time and many people was not happy with the battlefield 2042 and its terrible launch and people was looking for something else to play but when the world war 3 relaunched back into the steam even though the game was somewhat improved over the years that launch was again a complete mess with a lot of bugs server issues performance issues and the game didn't really have a lot of content very few game modes and the progression was incredibly grindy with this free to play model even though the game has a lot of issues the game was peaked about 11,500 players which is really decent at the time but the player count was dropping down massively and the biggest issue was the servers and the people really couldn't jump into the game mode that they really wanted to play it took a very long time to get into a game and on top of all that the game generally had a lot of issues with performance bugs sound issues and also unlocking weapons and attachment was extremely grindy a lot of these common issues pushed most of the people away even though they tried to improve the game over the years and add new seasonal content people didn't really stick around to enjoy the game and nowadays the game is just hanging on its last breath hovering about 250 daily concurrent players on steam but toward the end of the last year the game was actually bought by another studio even though we haven't really heard from them since then now the new information shows that they try to revive the game back again and already making some progression to improve the current state of the game and they also acknowledging that the last few months have been tough for them especially taking over a game like world war 3 and it is not going to be easy to win back the trust of the players or try to breathe a new life into a game like World War 3 because many people are already written it off and also with the upcoming free to play games like Delta Wars was just so good compared to games like World War 3 it is going to have a pretty tough time ahead anyway the devs are also mentioning that their priority right now is to overhaul the matchmaking system and also optimizing the both server and the client side for the game which is absolutely the crucial point if they were to make a World War 3 a serious contender again and they already made some improvement for the server side and doing some sort of a playtest right now and ask a lot of the player base to join and give their feedback which is great to see and hopefully more of these changes and improvements will come into the live game pretty soon and very recently they also added a Q&A section to their steam page revealing a bunch of new information if I go through it pretty quickly their current goal is to improve the stability of the servers that is already available in the game which I believe is North America Europe and Asia and afterwards they also have a plan to expand to other locations like Australia and South America and also currently there is no plan to upgrade the game into unreal engine 5 right now their focus is on getting the maximum potential of the current unreal engine 4 and they also have a plan to add stuff like amd fsr and nvidia dlss to the game which is going to be crucial to get the best performance out of any game in 2024 if you have a pretty low to mid-range system with an all graphic card amd fsr will definitely help you to get the best performance out of this and they're also mentioning that they're working on new balances of some mechanics and implementation to improve the current progression system and there is also no plan to wipe out any progression that you already made in the game which is also really great to see and also i have to say in my personal experience something they have to add asap is to get rid of their stupid my game launcher and put the game directly onto the steam and if you're someone who played the world war 3 more regularly you know how painful it is to update your game through the my game launcher so get rid of this and put the game directly onto the steam which they also mentioning something that they are working on right now and there is also a bunch of other information available in the q a 
Q&A section if you want to check it out I will link it in the description but finally when we think about it what all of these mean for the future of World War 3 well it seems like the developers are committed to give another shot at the game and they're passionate about making it work and they're putting their time and effort to improve the current state of the game which is really great to see and there's no doubt the upcoming few months is going to be challenging for the game and there are still a lot of work to be done and they have to make these changes as quickly as possible in order to compete with games like Delta Force or even competing with any upcoming Battlefield games and the developers already have something to build on but sometimes it is harder to fix something broken rather than starting out completely fresh and I'm really interested to see what their vision for the game and what they are going to come up in the future and if you're looking at the current state of the FPS market and in my personal opinion there's not a lot of game that actually caught my attention so the competition is always good for the players and hopefully the third time is a charm as they say and hopefully we'll be able to see something big happening with the game in the near future so finally i have to ask what do you think about the game the current state of the game are you still playing world war 3 or do you think the new dev team can turn things around for the game i would love to know your thoughts down in the comment section as always if you enjoy the content so far guys don't forget to go ahead and drop a like subscribe and stay tuned to the channel because we cover tons of free to play games like this i will catch you guys soon in the next one stay safe